Call it Paul Bubba Sparks. Booty, yeah, booty, booty, rock and never well. Booty, 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 rock and never well. Booty, 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 booty. What's up YouTube, it's Desi and I'm back with another video y'all. So in this video, I think I found a good way for you guys to remember the order of draw. Now tell me if I'm tripping, leave the comments below in the um the comments box. But okay, so hear me out y'all. What I'm about to name out for you guys is the order of draw. Now when I say order of draw for phlebotomy, order of draw is basically mean the certain tubes that's drawn in order when you're drawing blood. That's basically how you'll have to do it. Now don't get me wrong, in the medical field, the order of draw always changes, but these will be the main colors that you will always know as far as for the order of draw. You always want to try to avoid cross contaminate the order of draw basically is going to hear me out so you have yellow now when you think of yellow that's going to always be the first one when you think of yellow you think of blood cultures so for yellow you're going to think of bugs bunny bugs bunny is for the yellow to blood cultures that's the key word you want to think of blood cultures next is going to be light blue when you think of light blue you want to think of kogi -ish. I'm going to leave everything down in the description box, like the little bar thing, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But with light blue, you want to think of Lola Bunny. When you think of the next one, this one is going to be the red. But when you think of the red, think of Road Runner. With the red tube, this will be the sternum without clot or with the gel. You either have the red um, top or you have the gold slash tiger tube top. So, so far you have yellow, light blue, red next you have green when you think of green think of the granny the granny off of looney tunes think of the granny green is for granny and when you think of the green tube you want to think of heparin keyword heparin when next is lavender lavender keyword when you think of lavender you want to hear the keywords edta whenever you see edta in the test uh on the test or anything like that that's always going to be the lavender tube CBC complete blood count lavender tube when you think of the lavender tube you want to think of Looney Tunes so so far we have yellow light blue red green lavender next is pink when you think of pink that's another one for the EDTA but pink is definitely different I'm gonna do another video where I talk about that separate but when you think of pink you want to think of Porky the pig so so far you have yellow light blue red green purple pink and last you have gray when you think of gray think of granny too because there's no was well, other characters that have a g but i couldn't think of nothing else so i put granny <laughs> granny too and whenever you think of the gray tube this is the easiest one to me glucose g for granny too g for glucose always remember that the order of draw is yellow light blue you have red at the red you have green lavender pink glucose yellow light blue red green lavender pink glucose that's how you remember it bugs bunny lola bunny road runner granny looney tunes porky pig granny too don't tell me I ain't help y'all out with nothing, y'all. I'm telling you, this really had got to my understanding. I was just like, you know what? I have to think of something that can kind of help people out with phlebotomy. And they change the color so many times. And whenever you like, you know, you try to think of the order of draw because the order of draw will be on any medical assistant test you may plan on doing. The order of draw is also on any certification test you plan on doing for a phlebotomy. So you want to try to keep those um, in order and try to remember that same exact order. Now to go a little bit more in depth as far as for each color, you're thinking of, um, the blood culture for yellow that's blood that's bugs bunny that's the one that's gonna go first what a maroon <laughs> what a hey. blood cultures are used to detect bacteria in your body so whenever you have an infection or anything like that that's when I'm gonna draw your blood just to see if they could test anything as far as for that so the um, bugs bunny is the yellow one that will be for blood cultures that think of bacteria anything dealing with bacteria this is Lola bunny you have light blue Cogliation. So cogliation goes next. Cogliation basically contains sodium citrate solution, which 
which is 3.2 so that yellow blue that yellow I'm sorry that light blue tube contains 3.2 percent of sodium citrate citrate solution and it's used for preparing when you um citrate plasma for coagulation studies so whenever you're donating plasma or anything like that whenever you're done donating plasma they use this packet it's coagulation. It's basically to stop you from basically getting your blood to be so thickened out. It's to make sure that everything just be so smooth because your blood is so thick after um, donating plasma or anything like that. So that's where that light blue one comes in. So you have yellow, light blue, Bugs Bunny, Lola Bunny. Remember that. Next is Rope. Yeah, next is Rope Runner. You have red. Rope Runner is for the red tube. Meep, meep. <laughs> Now you either have the one with the non-additive in it or the one with the additive in it. Now this one has no anti-cochleation. This is used for blood banks, drug levels, chemistry tests. That's what the red one is used for, just the solid red one. Now the one with the tiger tube on it, that one is with the clot activator and gel. So you'll see that gel at the bottom of the tube. When you see that, that means no anti-cochleation and is used for chemistry testing. So the red one is with no anticoagulation. That one is used for blood banks and um, drug level tests. And this um, SST red tiger tube, that one is with the clot activator and gel. So that's the one you'll have to put inside the centrifuge to separate. You have the green one, that's heparin. This one will be on the test. So this one contains the sodium heparin as anticoagulation. This is for a blood thinner. So this one is a good one to remember as well too. Whenever you think of heparin, just always think of it's a blood thinner. So it's going to help you out as far as for the blood. It's going to thin out your blood. So you have yellow, light blue, red, green. Yellow, light blue, red, green. Bugs Bunny, Lodo Bunny, Road Runner, Granny. Next you have lavender. So the lavender one is used for CBC. CBC means complete blood count. It's also used for whole blood, which is needed for an analysis and whatnot. Um, you also have um, where it's used for procedures as well too. So you'll see people always use the purple tube. And like I say, whenever you see EDTA, that's either the purple tube or that's the pink tube, which leads us to the next one. The pink tube is pretty much similar to the purple tube. Um, that one is Porky Pig. That's the pink one. That's easy to remember as well too. Used for blood banks and is similar to the lavender tube. And last you have Granny Tube. That's the gray tube. The gray tube is used for glucose testing. This tube contains potassium and sodium fluoride. So whenever you see the fluoride keyword, that's how you know as well too. And um, I just figured this would be a good one. So just quiz yourself. If you wanted to know the order of draw, think of Bugs Bunny, Lola Bunny, Road Runner, Granny, Looney Tunes, Porky Pig, Granny Two, Light, I'm sorry, Yellow, Light Blue, Red, Red with the tiger top as well too, Green, Purple, Pink, Lab, I mean, uh, Gray. There you go.